I work in a very small office. There's five of us, and we all have lunch together, so we've become pretty close over time. Sometimes nice. when we're joking around, I'll do impressions slash impersonations, and they aren't very good. <laughs> they are very <laughs> mediocre impressions of Muppets, Jack Sparrow, and other characters. I really just do them for a gag, <laughs> and that's it. Just, Folks, uh, just... quick sidebar, you can't. You can't just do that. You can't just say it was for a gag and that's it. You can't do that. Nobody debases themselves to the point of doing a Jack Sparrow impersonation unless there is they have some serious skin in the game. Yes, you desperately needed to do oh, that. that. Oh, is all the oh, is all the rum gold. Uh, I just made myself an idiot on the internet for that, and I did it for money for this job that we do here. It also sounded a lot like your Jason Statham. <laughs> hey, speak, Jack Sparrow. Get in your fucking car, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> if my Dead on out the window. I really do them for a gag, and that's it. The thing is, my boss thinks they're really funny, and he wants me to do the company voicemail using my impressions. Yes, you fucked up. <laughs> you fucked up. <laughs> I absolutely detest this idea. No shit. Our office is very small, and I meet almost every client. And I don't want to be introduced as the guy that does the shitty impressions of Family Guy characters. How do I tell my boss I'm not doing the voicemail? Cringing in Clutch City. I wish that I could uh, put this question in a blender with some uh, gelato and drink the result. Because it is delicious. I have some uh, bad news for you, question asker. Your boss hates your impressions and is calling your bluff. In you the think? most delectable way. Oh, Doesn't you like, oh, hey, good impressions, Chris. Hey, I've got an idea. How about we just go ahead and lock those in amber for everyone to see forever? You need to be honest with yourself right now, and you need to think about, do you spend literally all day around this very small office like, mm, giggity, and then your boss is like, oh, I got a way to put that behavior right in the toity. Yeah, why don't you? Yeah, why don't you get up on the stage? Do a quick ten. What do you say? Giggity, giggity, baby, do it. It's so yeah. good. Represent us now publicly as him. Hey, listen, though. Side, listen, alternate. I know you don't want to be introduced as the person who does these impressions, but that's a good way to get business. If you're working on commissions and you're that uh, mediocre Jack Sparrow from the voicemail, you've already got a foot in the yeah. door. Yeah. You've also made yourself indispensable to the company because yes. as these impressions become outdated, if they can you, they're and they have like it's me, Archie Bunker. Like fuck off! Like that's just not here anymore. We gotta get a new heat in here. It's well, they'll just ne they'll never stop making Pirates of the Caribbean movies. So I mean, yeah, I so can't that's probably good so. forever. It's just I'm just. I want everybody to go on this journey with me. Maybe we can just sort of sit here in silence for five minutes and like we, the three of us can just chill on it while everybody else entertains themselves for five minutes while they imagine what this fucking voicemail would sound like. <laughs> you can envision any business, any business, fucking LASIK, a, la a, a, a LASIK surgery center and imagine what these Muppets rolling all over it and Jack and some of the Family Guy folks coming in and like, hey, they're gonna blast your eyes with cut them open with lasers. Oh, yes, right. Where'd all my bad vision go? Uh, right off the side of my pirate boat. Uh, Lois, uh, better go get your uh, eyes cut open with lasers. Oh, I'm the dog one. I, I, I wish I could get LASIK, but I can't. One day we'll find it, the LASIK connection. <laughs> uh, mother, uh, I'm going to shoot you with my lasers. That's in the pretty eyes. good. Wait, hold on. That's stop. One. You're getting there, bud. Keep going. That's going. Do we ruled. Uh, oh, it's me, Orlando Bloom from the Pirates movies. That's Hobbs again. Yes, now you're Shaw. You're, you're back, you're back Shaw to Shaw again. Let me try again. Hey, it's, do you smell what's cooking? Your eye meat from the lasers work, but it's gonna smell good, but then you're gonna look good through them. It's me, The Rock. Okay. I got a pretty good uh, Paul Stanley. All right. Oh? Toronto! <laughs> okay. Are you ready uh, for some LASIK? I have a, rec we never do this. I am going to A bounty, request. a bounty has been placed on this. Nay, nay demand, <laughs> friend. You know we've gotta hear them. Yes. Go ahead and record a voicemail for it doesn't have to be your company, LASIK. but a company Let's like your LASIK. company. LASIK you know what works. I mean? 
LASIK adjacent company, and I'm going to need to hear all of them in a in a, a glossy wave file hand delivered <laughs> to our mailbox <laughs> that we can all enjoy with the listening public. Mm-hmm. Uh, we will we will continue to hide your identity, but I am going to need to hear these impressiones. And just I'm just going to go ahead and and widen that scope a little bit to say anybody on Twitter who wants to tweet at mbmbam with like a clip or a video or anything doing your best impression of a voicemail for LASIK. And then if you work at a LASIK company and you want to just go ahead and use those, we're going to say they're public domain. And anybody, if you post it, if you post it, these are public domain. These are, these are public domain LASIK voicemails. LASIK specific <laughs> voicemails. Voice- hold on, stop. Wait, wait, hold on, wait, 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 stop. What if these start showing up on Spotify and it becomes like the hot new, like, Celebrity impersonation LASIK voicemails. What if mm. that's like it becomes you know like, how there was like right. a big electronica boom mm-hmm. back in the aughts? Like this could be the fucking genre. And then like, you know, Jamie Foxx is chopping them up for samples for his new thing or whatever. Mm. Do you think yeah. the crazy frog inventor got like bank, or do you think that they made this same mistake and just like put it up for free and then other people got to like steal crazy frog? Okay, if it goes if it goes viral, they're ours. It's like, ours I, again. Yeah, it's ours again. For, so yeah. there will be an uncanny valley where they're free, and then <laughs> they'll be ours again. I think that's how that. That's a legal statute right there. Yeah. Um. So they'll be yours until someone notices them and uses them. At which point they're free. But if more than let's say a thousand people notice them, they're ours now. Perfect. That's perfect. Great. Thank you. That's, the, that's rules. A-M. Hashtag let's LASIK see. challenge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Challenge. 